Hi, this is Paul Gabry with another Ask ZBrush. All right, so the question was sent in, how can I create new topology for my model using Z Remesher, but keep the details? All right, well, let's first just start with the Z Remesher. One of its goals is to reduce the polygon count. So in this case, we're looking at a model that's a little over 3 million polygons. The remesher is not going to do 3 million polygon Z remesh on a model. So that's why it's not going to maintain the high, high fidelity details. It's also looking at your sculpt and trying to create new topology that would follow the flow of your sculpture. So it's not really going to be possible to remesh with a remesher and maintain high fidelity detail. That's not what its goal is. So let's look though a little couple examples here that I've done with the Z remesher. So I'm gonna open up my sub tool. I'm gonna to first start with something really high. So this is 90,000, right around 90,000 that has been remeshed by the Z remesher. And you can see it's maintaining quite a bit of some detail in this arm, but obviously it's not getting all the really high details. When we move in a little bit closer here, right, and start looking at things, you can see it's doing a good job of giving us a new piece of topology that's kind of following the flow of even some of the scaling that's happening in here. All right, so let's take a look at maybe something around 18,000. So there you go, there's now 18,000. And you can see there is some difference for sure, but the difference isn't enough that I would use 90,000 polygons to remesh this particular arm. So this is 18,000, which is pretty much given us a very nice detail. And then this is 5,000. So really what you want to be doing here is if you have a model that's in DynaMesh mode or any other model that you're bringing into ZBrush and you need to use the Z Remesher to create new topology, your goal here would actually be trying to get as low as you can that maintains relatively the silhouette, the shape of the model. And then that way you can actually divide up more and get to millions and tens of millions of polygons and use multi-resolution sculpting inside of ZBrush. So I would say for this particular model, 18,000 is pretty good. I might even try to get this down maybe between 18 and 5,000. Even the 5,000 is going to be good enough. So let's go back to the original. Let me show you how you can remesh this model and then put all the sculpted detail back in all right so we're going to close our sub tool we're going to open up geometry this is where we're going to find the z remesher okay and i'm just going to keep the defaults because it's good enough and the defaults at five for a target polygon count i'm going to put this at 15 because i want to be around that 18,000 mark again okay so let's go ahead and remesh and see what we get okay now that we're back from remeshing, you can see the result we get. So I've got a nice, clean, retopologized arm here that's even keeping a little bit of the detailing that I had in the original arm. But now we're sitting around 19,000 polygons, and we definitely don't have all the details. So here is the workflow now that I like to do to get my details back on the model. So I'm just going to divide up this arm a little bit so you can see it's just dividing up and now we've got the arms a little bit more smooth so i'm going to say right around here is good so i'm now divided up to 4.8 million polygons on this arm the remesh version and what i'm going to do is come here to my undo state and i'm just going to go backwards to the original arm where i have all this sculpted detail right so i want to get all this detail back into the remeshed version of my model. So I'm going to hold the control key. And I'm going to tap on this undo marker that's now orange. And then now I'm just going to move this forward to the remeshed version that I've divided up. And you'll see there's a gray marker here. 
So now ZBrush is understanding this undo point and remembering this. And this is the sculpted detail. So now all I have to do is come over here to Subtool. I'm going to open up the Project options here. I'm going to turn off the color because I have no color information. And now all I'm going to do is hit this Project History button. And what ZBrush is going to do is take what we have now, which is a remesh version of the arm sitting at 4.8 million, go get all the information at this undo marker and project it into this model. So watch what happens after I click this button. And there you have it. We now have a remeshed version that I can walk down subdivision levels and back up subdivision levels and get all my sculpted detail back. Thank you for watching this video. Please continue to send in your questions on Twitter with hashtag AskZBrush. Again, just send your questions to us on Twitter and make sure you use the handle hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you again for watching this. Have a wonderful day and happy ZBrushing.